It's been more than a year since I made my anti-nuke bot comparison video. I compared WIC, security, and AuthGG bots in that video. AuthGG was the clear winner at that time, however, they no longer offer anti-nuke features. So I believe now is the best moment to do another comparing video. Since it's been a while, let's see if WIC and the security bot have improved since last time. I'll also be testing another anti-nuke bot called Serac Shield, which I found in the Discord application directory. So, first and foremost, let us put the Serac Shield to the test. So I invited the bot to the server and placed the bot role at the top of the role list, giving it full permissions. I also enabled the bot's anti-nuke feature. Let me run the nuke and see what is going to happen. Serac Shield is literally sleeping here, so it's out of the picture. Next, let's test the security bot. Just as before, I placed the security bot role to the top of the role list and enabled multiple anti-nuke features. Let's put it to the test and see how security bot react. It seems that security has actually improved. Let's look at the audit log and see what actually happened. Okay, it appears that the nuke bot managed to delete three channels before being kicked by the security bot. Finally, we'll put the bot you've been waiting for to the test. Let's test the WIC. You can see that I've activated the anti-nuke features on the WIC dashboard. I've also placed the WIC bot role to the top of the role list, giving it full permission. All right, let's run the nuke bot and see how WIC gonna react against it. Okay, so the nuke bot just got kicked. Now let's check the audit log and see what happened. The nuke bot was able to delete three channels before WIC kicked it. It seems WIC works the same as the security bot. So, we tested three anti-nuke bots to see which one might genuinely protect your server in the event of an nuke attack. And according to my test, Serac Shield was completely useless while WIC and security bots reacted similarly. 